It looks like it was uh, dismissed. However, she was forced to pay restitution. Are you kidding me that you, it was dismissed, and you're bringing up something that was dismissed? And you know that that cannot be impeached? You know what, Mr. Schwartz, you know the rules of Montgomery or the Illinois Supreme Court rules and the rules of evidence regarding impeachment, do you not? Yes, I do, Judge. And how long have you been practicing law to know those rules? A long time, Judge. Yes, and how many times have you filed a motion uh, in limine to bar your clients, uh, who you represent in the past, their prior criminal convictions from coming in? Several times, Judge. Several times. So you're quite aware of the rule that only you can be impeached with a felony conviction or a misdemeanor conviction involving dishonesty, correct? Yes, Judge. So why did you happen to bring this out as a part of your strategy? Judge, I became aware of it this morning, and as you know, I only have one eye. I'll wait light, a minute, Mr. Schwartz. I gave you time for a recess for you to prepare for this question for to cross-examine this witness you said that you were ready and you're telling me you weren't ready no i thought i was ready Judge. well you know you made a very serious mistake here mr schwartz and there are going to be sanctioned because you know and i don't believe that you're saying that you didn't know it wasn't dismissed you had ample opportunity to know who this witness was and to what, whether or not there was a conviction. You did this as part of your strategy, and you made a mistake. And there are going to be sanctions, and I haven't quite decided what those sanctions are going to be, but I'm going to tell the jury that that question was wholly improper. 